Hi guys, um, for this Mommy Corner Monday, this is actually may come off as a rant, but for today's Mommy Corner, um, the topic is to not, I want to say, not judge breastfeeding moms or discriminate on breastfeeding moms because you did not breastfeed. Now this isn't for the women, well, <laughs> let's, let's throw this out here, put it in perspective and then maybe you'll see where you fall in, hopefully you don't get offended, hopefully you don't. I'm not here to release a thin, but I am here to educate and just to let you know and forewarn you on how sometimes it may seem for people that, did not breastfeed a baby or have to pump while they were away from their baby. So I just want to say, please don't judge. That's number one. Please don't act like you know. That's number two. And please, number three is do not say how you think pumping is and how it should be and how it goes. Because for one, you did not breastfeed. That was your option to choose not to breastfeed. So please do not judge me or any other breastfeeding mother because we chose to breastfeed. That is really the moral of the story. So <clears throat> every mom is different. Every breast mo breastfeeding mother is different. And when they go to pump, it is not the same. And I will let you know this. When it comes to pumping, that is a machine. The mach It's a machine. It's not a human being. And it will take longer to pump with a machine than when you put a baby to the breast. I'm just going to let you know that. Because baby latches on and pulls and can suck out and get more of the milk out quicker and faster than a mechanical pump. I'm going to let you know that right now. So, to think that a breastfeeding mom can do it in 10-15 minutes... Don't, please don't hold me on that. Some moms can, other moms cannot, depending on the suck the speed, if they if they can stand it to be that high. I cannot stand it to be that high. I love my nipples. I want them to stay there on my chest. I'm just saying. So, with that being said, the only way I can fill a bottle up in 10 to 15 minutes is if I don't went all damn day without pumping, without feeding, and they're engorged. And if they're engorged at that point, you are in serious pain. So you do not know what it takes to be a breastfeeding mother. And being engorged and in pain does not feel well at all. So, and with that being said, with this discriminatory thing or judging thing, do not force a breastfeeding mom to stop pumping. And I know there is a law for that. Because they are required by law to let you have a room to pump. And do not discriminate on this mother that decides to pump and feels as though she is doing what's best for her child. Because you decided to go a different route, not saying that you didn't do what's best. You decided this was what's best for you and your child. Don't discriminate on a mom, a breastfeeding mom, that thought that, that thinks the exact same thing. And those who ain't had no kids, don't know nothing about it, ain't never been pregnant, don't do that either. Don't do that. That'll be another rant on another one. But we're talking about breastfeeding moms at this point. Okay. So. I'm trying to think. I was off on a tangent. I know. I'm trying to bring it back in. But those are really my three main points. Please don't act like you know. All you can do is let us go for what we know. And some moms can turn it out quick some cannot like i said every breastfeeding mother is differently do not think you know and do not base it on one breastfeeding mom to the other because we're all not the same all of our bodies are not the same all of our babies are not the same and all our milk may not be our milk is not gonna sometimes be the same we're different we're different people we're not gonna be the same you can put us in a spectrum but please don't do that because we're not the same. We're not. Because some breastfeeding babies can nurse in 7 to 10 minutes and some may take an hour. 
So you have to pump according to how you would feed your baby. And I will give you a story on that because I thought that when I returned to work having my first son, that I can keep it in a 30-minute increment and pump. That did not work. So that means once I get in the room, I have to set up. When I say set up, that means I have to label all my bags and my bags set up, pull everything out, label, get all my things together to attempt to put everything on to pump. And then you are pumping and thinking you're going to try to pump in 15 to 20 minutes, clean everything, 25 minutes, clean everything, put everything away, wash everything, put everything up, put your shirt back on, tidy up the room. I don't ever leave it a mess, but I'm just saying when you have stuff put everywhere, you clean everything up and get it together and to get out in 30 minutes. I'm going to let you know what happened to me. By doing that, thinking I can just get everything out in 15 to 20 minutes did not work. I was engorged multiple times and was in a lot of pain. So I, for me, which worked best for me, is that I had to go a little bit longer than 15, 20 minutes. That did not work for me. So and my son ate a lot. The first one ate a lot. The second one eats even more. So you think I'm really about to pump in 15, 20 minute increments <laughs> and think I'm going to be able to sit there and function. No, you're not. Because here's the thing. When your breasts become engorged, your milk comes in. The milk ducts are under your armpits. So your milk comes in from in here. So when the milk comes in and it's sitting here, it sits there and it builds up on pressure. And once the pressure of the milk sits in there, your breasts become hard and they become heavy. It's like having boulders in your bra and it hurts. So, try just put try to put that in perspective. Something just that painful. So, you, it, it's not fun. And then sometimes, too, if you are engorged too much, sometimes even for too long, it can clog your ducts up. And then having a clogged duct is not fun because then you got to try to unclog it. Luckily, I never had it to the point that it was so bad that some that I needed medical attention for that because sometimes you don't and when you get engorged and if you can't really get it all out, you can become sick. You literally become sick. It's like flu-like symptoms. You become sick because of backed up milk and engorgement and everything else like that. I've never had that thank thankfully, thank God. I'm super proud of that tad bit but I know there's probably some women out there that can probably attest to that and say hey, it is not the way to go I've heard that sometimes it's so bad you literally have to be in the hospital <laughs> IV and everything medication and all other stuff to help you get better that's an extreme no I never ever wanted to go that route but the engorgement part, that right there is no joke. I would never want it to go to the point that I'd have to be in no hospital on nobody's bed on no IV for no medication because it was so simple as just pumping it out or feeding my baby. But if I'm not near my baby, I have to pump it out. So, I'm trying to think, do I have any other points that I need to discuss? Hmm, I don't think I do. I think I covered everything. I know I will remember once <laughs> I uh, end the video, I'll probably go through and upload it. And then I'm like, dang, I should have said that. But, hmm, I think that is it for the most part for right now. So, um, I'll have more videos to come, but... Please do not judge or discriminate on a breastfeeding mother, and especially don't do it in the workplace. There are laws against that. Please remember that. And you guys have a good day, good evening, a good rest of the week. It is Monday, y'all. Till next time, loves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.